I think, I think that, yeah, that's him right here. All right, that's him right here. Let's lock in. Bro, what is wrong with you? Okay, <clears throat> what's the deal? What's the deal? Family, we back with another video today, man. Look, we're looking at the creepiest rapper of 2024, Little Boom. All right, about to run this show one time for the one time, man. And uh, look, bro, I don't know. What's, I don't, hey, man, look, I don't really know nothing about Little Boom. I just know he used to be with like academics and doing all that. He was like a chat nigga or something, and then and then he became a rapper, or whatever, dog. What I do know, bro, out here wild and in the Walmart's, bro, he, he he messing with, he touch he touching people and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't really say everything because YouTube and all that. But bro's out here doing doing the worst. You know what I'm saying? The worst of the worst. Something that you know even dudes in jail don't really play with. You know what I mean? So let's see what this video is about, man. It's uh who dropped this one. Whatever this dude name is, yeah, he dropped that. So make sure to go check that out. Uh, but let's get into it, man. Y'all got other videos you want me to react to, other sh other stuff you want me to check out? Get at me in the comments. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Ooh, man, let's like, get to oh my god, this shit bumping right now. This would go on to be one of the most poorly aged clips in internet history. This was an IG live that Lil Boom had conducted years before the event we're going to talk about today, which is the rampage he went on at Walmart. If you guys haven't already seen, 1090 Jake has done a really good breakdown of the paperwork and describing the situation, so I won't be diving too much into all of that unless it's to provide context. All of the stuff today will be new footage. Lil Boom is most famously known now as one of Academic's friends, but that's not really his claim to fame. He had a very popular and viral meme song called F Steph Curry years ago. He had a popular song Already Dead, Sad Nigga Hours, and a couple of others. He was doing his thing in meme rap, but fell off by around 2020. Lil Boom had two counts of battery. He decided to plead no contest, which ended up with him being found guilty. He had probation, the psychosexual eval, which he says he didn't do, and couldn't be around minors for a period of time. I don't know how long. He says it's for a year, but he said a lot of stuff that has come out as bold-faced lies. So who are we to believe? This all comes out, and when the video footage dropped, I decided to post I ain't even gonna lie to you, bro. All the times I ever seen him like do like anything, bro. I think only the only real time I seen him was like I think he did a fresh and fit interview or like something where academics was there and it was him and I was like this dude kind of weird, bro. <laughs> like like he kind of weird, dog. I, I don't really know nothing about him, but he seemed a little weird. I ain't. Gonna I wasn't hold first you. by any stretch of the imagination, but Lil Boom decided to pop in my DMs talking about. He slapped a hand, and I'm wild for trying to slander him, when all I said in the post is that he touched kids, which he did, on video. I didn't say in which manner. And then says everybody's against academics, and I never posted him before, and I'm not going to leak DMs, but I will give my reply. I said the following, what this have to do with academics? I have nothing bad to say about him, nor have I ever said anything bad about him. This is a viral post and story, so I did my job. Unbiased. You touch the kid, slapping a hand or however you want to define it is still touching a kid. And the last time I posted you was when you had a huge song. True. You've just laid low since then. Musically, at least. I've never had an issue with academics. I don't know him personally. And hell, I even made a video talking about a show he did that I went to. So he's tweaking. You should check out that video, by the way. I'm going to play the original footage in question right now. Oh, yeah, right there. Okay, pause. Right, where are you? Um, wait, 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 wait. I just want to write it down so whenever I write my report. Um, he approaches over, is that, what is that, the tomato, potato? Okay, whatever. Um, approach the pretty sand. Children picking stuff out. Is this the police? Yeah. He reaches and grabs younger 
Wait, wait. The, I think the person in the background said at least yesterday he didn't touch anyone, just himself. Bro, what is you on, dog? Bro, you a weirdo, bro. You a weirdo, bro. She jumps away. Okay, you can play it. She jumped away. What's wrong? Play. Is that him right here? It's my handwriting. I can read it. So, um, he lingers. Yeah. Follows. Oh, that's him. Okay, so I think that's him right here. Hold up. Let's go back. I think that's him right here. It's my handwriting. I can read it. So, um, he lingers. Yeah. Follows. Then grabs. Dog, what wrong with this fool? Bro, it's like a whole family. It's little, little kids. Like, come on, bro. Right there, bro. Oh, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with y'all, bro? Get some help out here, man. Bro got a whole... Bro is, is disgusting. Bro is disgusting. He got a mental problem. The fact that you even got money or whatever, and you a rapper and all, you be with, you be around people who doing stuff, and you doing that, you weird as hell. Yeah. So in this footage, it's body cam from the officer whose pen is blocking the exact supposed moment of contact with the ten-year-old before she recoiled several steps away and it follows with the touching of the other girl after he follows them. Boom would go on to repeatedly gaslight everyone and drop this video on his own live stream addressing things. I don't care. <laughs> Listen, Reddit, I'm sorry to tell you, nobody gives a bro. Nobody, bro. I'm still here. Y'all gotta come harder than that, bro. Y'all gotta find me or something, bro, because I ain't going nowhere. No matter what 1090 Jake say, I'm not going anywhere, bro. On God, I'm not. Which is interesting because he deactivated his Instagram just last night. I was out the window. If I was out here touching kids, I would have a sex charge by now, bro. I would definitely have a sex charge by now. All right, I don't. My girl would have left me. She didn't. My mom, would, my family would disown me. They didn't. They know me. <laughs> I don't give a if you don't know me, that's why I don't care. Which is an argument he felt the need to repeatedly say. Bro, that's called wishful thinking, bro. People, people who, you know, your parents or your family who loves you and all that, they going to think the best of you no matter what. They're going to assume the best of you no matter what. Yo, girl, she, you, you probably pay her bills. You probably help her around. Maybe you, maybe you a solid boyfriend. Maybe you a solid dude with her. So it's wishful thinking. They don't want to assume that you just doing all of that. Like, but it's right there. Okay, which has right nothing there. to do with the evidence. There were four, quote, alleged victims that day. The first clip I showed you with the body cam is two of them. There's another In one set of footage from a different angle of boom. Now you tell me what you see. Bro went on a rampage at Walmart. That's crazy. Where's he at? Oh, there he go right there. There he go right there if you can't see that. Bro, it's lurking too.
Look, she looking at him like she already know. Boom. He did it again. She looked right back. She looked right back. Look. As soon as he touched, boom, she turned around. Bro, lock this nigga up. Lock this nigga up. Put that nigga on a registration, all that. Bro, it's two little boys or girls. I'm not even sure, bro. They super, super young. I think that might be the mom or the big, big sisters. Bro, what? Okay, so there's that, which is what everyone was arguing about, but what about this? This was in the paperwork. The male then walks away and continues throughout the grocery area, eventually walking to the cosmetic department at approximately 1653. In this area, there's a Hispanic female, possibly younger, wearing a white t-shirt, jeans, brown sandals, and long dark brown hair. The female is standing, looking at something on display, and the male walks behind her and brushes up very close from behind. The male walks back to her several times without the female noticing. The female then bends down to look at something, possibly on the shelf, and the male pulls out his cell phone and appears to be taking photographs from underneath the female as she is crouched down. The male does this for several moments until another female, an older Hispanic female wearing a gray shirt, knee-length jean skirt, and black sandals, approaches the younger female and moves the cart to behind the female, preventing the male from taking more photographs. So, you just heard all this on the paperwork. Now, this is what Lil Boom had to say about this part. I was not in the cosmetic department. Now, you tell me if it looks like he's in the cosmetics department. Because he's basically saying this officer lied about what she saw. And to not have Boom lie and say things were edited, I'm going to drop the full entire clip right here. Trying to figure out where he at. That's the white t-shirt. I think I think that yeah, that's him right here. Alright, that's him right here. Let's lock in. Bro, what is wrong with you? Niggas need help. Niggas need help. Lock this nigga up. That's some, oh, that's some weird shit, bro. Dog, why are you all up on behind her like? And then again. Bro is in the middle of Walmart, kneel on the ground, taking pictures like that. That's weird, dude. Like, I've seen dudes do this before, bro. Like, I look at this ain't nothing about do with race, bro. But the, the times I've seen this, it's usually like old, fat, like creepy dudes. You know what I mean? Older guys, you know, fat. Probably can't get a girl. They girl ain't giving them no business. That like, you can just look at them and tell like they not really, they not pulling out here. They not really, they don't got options out here. It's more obvious. Like you could tell off looking at them, you got no options. And I've seen it, bro. I've been at my job, bro. I've seen bad girls, bad too. Like for real bad, not okay. Like for real bad, walking. You know what I'm saying? Doing their things. I, I work by some spots where it be popping, and you'll see dudes like. Walking like with their phone, like creeping, bro. Filming videos, walking behind them, 
And who am I to just run out my my store where I'm working at to just be like, hey, what you doing? Like, that's not, you know what I mean? Whatever. Like, but I've seen that a lot of times. Dudes doing weird stuff, taking pictures. Usually I'm just the type, I'm going to look and be like, like, what's wrong with you, bro? You know? Because sometimes you don't know what type of people people are. Like, they might be on some, they might be real crazy, you know? And it's just like, dog, uh, that's when you go tell the girl or the other person, hey, look, they they taking pictures of you, just, hey, just, you know what I'm saying? They creeping on you, put put your skirt down or something, like whatever, you know, put your, you know what I mean? Like they, they creeping on you. Uh, this is insane though. This is insane, man. This is insane. And for somebody like that could, that got a girlfriend, you know, he could get, he could get himself a girl. You know what I'm saying? Young, you got money, you be around people. You could get yourself a girl, dog. Maybe even a couple of them. If you just want to enjoy your life or whatever. But you doing this, you got a real problem, bro, up in here. Like, that's a real problem up in here in your psyche, man. Something wrong. You need help. You got to get locked up and you need help. I'm sorry. <laughs> it is what it is. Hey, shout out to old girl for blocking too. And I hope she says something to the girl in the white, like, at least. That look like security right there or something. Maybe they just working. fact he's still right there show how much he don't care like he just he's psycho bro he don't even care dog he's still trying to get pictures My boy is the thirstiest nigga in the world. That's not even my boy. I shouldn't even said that. Bro is the thirstiest nigga in the world. Walmart weirdo. Look, they they talking about it now, like Bro got Bro got straight R word energy. I can't say the word, but y'all know what I'm talking about. He got great energy.
I hope I hope academics disowned this fool. I hope he ate him up and then I hope he destroyed him and then disowned him as a friend. Cause I'll do the same. Now Boom went on to say that Doing way he would too have much. a sex charge if X, Y, and Z. He got off on a technicality and was lucky because they weren't able to get in contact with this girl. It should be noted that the female was wearing jeans, therefore does not meet the requirements for video voyeurism. I was unable to make contact with either females. The male then continues to stand next to the female with his cell phone out for several minutes before leaving the scene at approximately 1701 hours in the red vehicle. And as you can see, that's a description of what we just watched. But wait, there's more, Billy Mays. Because once again in the paperwork it says, the male then walks away, in reference to the two girls from before, and walks through the grocery area and eventually goes back to the produce department. At approximately 1646 hours, I observed the male approach an unknown black female wearing brown shirt and pants from behind. It appears that the male attempts to touch the female in the butt area, but the female does not react. The female then walks forward a few steps, and the male attempts to touch her again, which is when the female turns around and stares at the male. It should be noted that I have not been able to contact this victim. Alright, where he at now, man? Bro out here Roll the on tape the and Walmart let me know rampage like on a this Tuesday. Racist officer is profiling. Keep your eyes on the top left of the footage. This is where the girl is walking from and where she's followed by Boom. I mean, the poor the girl right. even looks right back here. after the second time. So I guess it's just a 10-year-old girl that just happens to look back and is racist. And I guess also this black girl happens to look back and she's also racist. Wow, crazy. It's funny too because Boom's whole claim is that he went there for some fish. But if we run the paperwork, it says at 1640 oh, he went there for the some. incident with the two young girls and family happens. And it says in the paperwork, then he went to the black girl at 1646. So please explain to me how he was able to get this fish that he wants, which is where he said he was going, and supposedly went back to produce to get some vegetables when he's empty handed in the video with the black girl. That's not happening. What's also funny is he claims that he got his sister a birthday gift and that's why he was in the cosmetics section, but the cosmetics incident is at 1653, which is after the incident with the two girls and the black girl holding nothing in his hand again. Well, except the camera that he's taking photos with. Well reputed chat nigga is hitting me saying, yo, act, there's video footage confirming what the affidavit said of Boom going to the cosmetic part. It, 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 there's not video of you in the co cosmetic section, is there? Well, I'm not. For one, I'm not recording because they have my phone. But to say I was in a cosmetic a cosmetics line is not a crime. Oh shit! Yeah, and they found no evidence. Eat him up, AK. So before he, said he wasn't in the cosmetic section. Destroy him. And now he was saying that he was, but they had his phone. When the video you guys saw earlier, he's clearly taken video and photo with his phone. Out of all this, Boom was so pressed on not being called a, quote, S predator, and is saying that he was going to sue 1090 Jake and Adam 22 for implying that, which is moronic. But let's just look at a couple of qualities that constitute an S predator. And you tell me if you believe Boom fits any of the criteria. Number one is using manipulative language. Well, it sounds to me like him saying he went from brushing someone to pushing someone to smacking someone's hand when in the video the 17 year old girl's hand is at her chest i don't think anyone's like pointed this out yeah, her weird, hand is literally bro. up covering her chest her elbow is basically at her waist and he's reaching below that what hand is he smacking using semantics for what he was sentenced to and countless other things sexual obsession well let's take a look at this ig live from boom that i played in the beginning of the video damn bro i need came going x videos bro Come on, bro. Y'all got to do better, man. I can't even get on X videos. Just see the phone. Now, that alone wouldn't be enough. Like, you know, sure, some people may do like a prank Weird. like that, although I would advise against it. But I'm pretty sure taking photo and video of a random girl in a Walmart cosmetics aisle is another example as to why someone would consider him sexually obsessed. Three, ignoring boundaries. Getting this close to all of these people when there's plenty of room and touching them may sound like that to some people. Four, victim playing. That's all he's done in the past couple of days. 
Ocala is racist. These Hispanics are white Hispanics, so they're scared of a black male. I'm the only lit rapper in Ocala. They all know me. I was just there for one day, and you caused terror in one day. They're trying to take me down to get at academics. It's all victim playing. That's just some. You tell me if it sounds like Boom fits the bill. I don't know personally, but this is open and shut after all of this footage. I don't see how anyone in their right mind could try to justify it or twist it. Even Lil Boom himself. Because he could have potentially, in a crazy scenario, skated on the first scene by some crazy people. But something weird happened in three entirely different scenarios in, like, what, less than 15 minutes at a Walmart in different sections? Get out of here. I'm just appalled at how someone Crazy. who had this in their record could be brazenly beefing with other people, doxing, etc. Because that's how this all started. It started with him doxing a woman and her six-year-old kid. She tries to get some get back and succeeds at the highest level. If he just never did that, he would be fine. Nobody would ever look this up. And he likely would have been able to get it removed from the public in a couple of years. But that's what hubris will do to you. Make sure to subscribe for more. Wow. Bro really woke up on a Tuesday. Said, I'm going to Walmart. I ain't buying nothing. I'm about to just get up over here and go take some pictures, look at some, try to touch some booties. Like, dog, that's crazy. That's insane. I hope AK chewed him out. I hope he disowned him because that's, that's, that's somebody you can't have around you, bro. Ever. Ever. And anybody who defended him or, you know what, anybody who's defending him right now. If you defended him whenever the first, when it came out at first, whatever. But if you defended him now, you looking crazy. <laughs> if you defended him now, dog, you, you telling a lot about yourself too, dog. But anyways, that's it. Uh, I don't really know too much else about this. If y'all want me to check out the 1090 Jake video, I think Pud and Flacco did a video on it. Um... Let me know. Just let me know in the comments. Hit that like button. Subscribe, man. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Remember to keep it real. Real is rare. Real always reaches everyone. Next time. Peace.